Peace. Keeping it real with Riley. Back at you again. Um, thank you for joining us. Joining me. Us. Um, first and foremost, thank you for watching. And I love you. I hope that you're well. And if you're not well, um, let's pray that tomorrow will be a better day than today was. And if not, the day after that. And then the day after that, if it was, you know what I'm saying? Let's. Let's just stay positive. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure I put that out first. Um, so earlier today, I had this conversation with my brothers about Moors and our nationality status and, you know, the same old, same old. And um, it was some things said today that struck me and I wanted to share with you because I know people... Um, I know people are going through this and, you know, it helps to talk about it, at least for myself anyways. Um, you know, uh, and, and I say my brother's really my really good friends. I'm, I've known them since I was five years old. So these, these people I call my brothers uh, were building and uh, at one point one of my brothers says, um, you know, it seems like being, no, no, first it was, what does being a more get you? Or like, what is the benefit of being a more? Or, you know, it's like, what, what will change once I start calling myself a more? These kind of questions. And um, on one side, I understand the question and where it comes from. You know, it's... Uh, this whole new identity, you know, even though it's not new, it's old, you know, it's always been really, um, and, you know, it's, it's dealing with religion, it's dealing with, you know, it's just different, you know what I mean, to sum it up, it's just different, man, from the Fezes to the Islam and Bays and Ls and the Prophet, I understand it's completely different for some. And um, and on another level, I understand the propaganda that's out there, because if you just search Moors, you get so much conflicting information, um, which is by design. You know, it's intended to make you skeptical. It's, it's intended to, you know, deter some of the people that may not be as strong will to find out the truth as others. Um, so I get it, but it's really hard for me to even answer that question, um, because of what it's truly asking, you know, essentially it's saying, what are the benefits of being yourself or what are the benefits of being, what are the benefits of calling, calling yourself your, you know, the name your ancestors gave you as opposed to the slave name. That's really what it's asking, um, you know. And it's like I don't really know how to answer that, you know. What is it? What is what is being a more get you? I mean, I get the the tangible thing. You could say, you know, you could you don't have to pay quote unquote pay taxes, but it's really just you're not obligated. It's not that you don't have to pay taxes because you do have to pay taxes to your nation. You're just not obligated to pay taxes to the U dot S nation. Um, you know, you don't have to pay um, income, uh, not income tax, like the store sales tax, you know, in stores and say you're indigenous and get it written off. Um, I'm trying to think of like tangible things, you know, you could, I don't know, just like I, but, but I, I get people asking about things like that that are, that are, tangible and evidence that you can show clearly okay when you call yourself a more this is what can change in your life um, but really the root of that that line of questioning is problematic because what it is doing is you are looking for some sort of external um, example of proof of what being a more can do for you or how being a more benefits you you know 
people are looking for that external example. And for me, more than any tax thing or, you know, um, not having to, you know, have your driver's license or social security tax, all of that, put all of the internal or external stuff aside. For me, being, you know, calling myself a more and being a more um, has completely transformed me on the inside. You know, my soul and my heart and my mind, really. Um, you know, I don't think the same. I don't, um, I'm just not, I'm not, I, I don't have the same energy um, and I know I don't give off the same energy as I once did when I thought I was black. Um, you know, so like for me, it's deeper than just, oh yeah, I can show my ID or whatever. It's like, it's knowing yourself, really, you know, to, to keep it, to keep it simple. That's the, the benefit of being a more is that you know who you are. And I mean, I think that is like, that, that in itself should be rewarding to know who you are, to know where you come from, you know, know thyself. That's a, that's an ancient teaching, you know, from Kemet or Egypt. I mean, and this is all, all throughout like ancient wisdom and sacred texts is about knowing thyself, um, you know, so that is what, on a very basic level, that's what being a more can do for you. Um, you know, but then on a, you know, if we branch it out a little bit, on a divine level, you know, being a more gets you love. You know, love from yourself and love from other people. Because when you start, when you start expressing who you are to other people, and saying, you know, that I'm actually Moorish American, or I'm actually a Moor, you know, this is my history, da 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 you will, and I, and don't even, don't believe me, try it for yourself, you know, you'll see, you'll see people reacting to you differently than they did when you called yourself black, um, and I actually, let me say this, that it can't be something fake, you can't fake it, it's got to be within, it's got to be in you, you know, you got to truly feel in your heart and know in your heart, this is who we are. Um, and that's when the change starts happening. And that's when people react differently. Because when you're not sincere, when you're not genuine about it, people will sense that energy. You know, people will spot it by the words you use, the, the questions you ask, really the questions you ask. Um... And I'm getting a little bit off topic, so let me let me let me stay focused. Um, being a more gets you love, um, love from yourself, love from others. Um, being a more gets you truth, the truth about yourself, and you start to learn the truth about others. You know, you start to really understand history and what has been going on. You know, for however many thousands and thousands of years, you know, that we've been, we've been on this, on this planet. Um, peace. Being a more gets you peace. Peace of mind. Well, that's somewhat. In one sense, it does get you peace of mind. You know, it does get you peace within yourself, um, knowing who you are and being assured about who you are, you know, you, you find yourself moving at a different pace, you know, you don't, you know, even like with the, the murders and all the stuff that's going on in the news, I know that I can be at peace with myself because I understand what's going on and I can be at peace with what's going on, you know, if I focus a lot of times, I'll say a lot of times, sometimes I allow my focus to get, um, you know, miss, missed. I, I, I allow myself to be unfocused um, or to get distracted or to have my energy redirected towards something that it maybe shouldn't be. Um, but essentially, 
when you know and when you claim that you are more, you know, you get peace within yourself and you have peace towards others as well. Um, because you understand it's all family. You know what I'm saying? Let me not hang up too long on that. Um, love, true peace, freedom. Being a more definitely gets you freedom. You know, freedom in your mind, but I'm talking about physical, actual freedom. Um, although right now it's a bit difficult because, and this is something that I know a lot of people that still believe that they're black say, you know, well, I don't see any Moors that are doing their own thing or have their own land where it's at. You know, what have you guys been doing? I, you guys don't seem too much different than blacks, blah, 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 blah. And there's a lot of truth to that. But it's also because, you know, this movement has been heavily attacked, you know, internally and externally. Agents. <clears throat> um, a lot of propaganda. And most importantly, the nation is waiting on the sideline asking, where's the stuff at? Where can we see the benefits of this before we join in? <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's um that's the main problem with us. You know, with my brothers. And really, you know, anybody that's looking from the sideline like, well, you know, before I get out there, I just want to know what what how does it benefit me? You know, and that's that's the mindset. That mentality is an enslaved mentality. You know, you got, you got, and that's what being, that's truly what being a Moor is, is, is understanding, yo, we, we are not Negroes. We are not slaves. We don't have to, like, stop waiting. Oh, is it okay? Can I, can I, no, be who we are. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking over here to give you an example, excuse me, but... Um, it's like, once you know who you are, you're free to be who you are. You don't have to be African American, person of color, black American, Negro American, Negro, nigger, nigger. You're not confined to all the baggage that comes with those labels and those brands. You know, you're not enslaved to your emotions when you hear those words because, you understand what's going on. You understand the traps that are being set. And you just, ah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, freedom um, and justice, man. I mean, now, black people, we've been talking about just where are we going to get justice for a minute, huh? Well, so-called black people, excuse me. Being a more is what allows us to get justice both here in the United States of America in North America or at North America um, and also internationally around the world um, because being black you don't have rights you don't have rights here in the United States and internationally you're considered stateless you don't have a nation so you don't have protection from any nation um, you know man I mean, those are just like some simple things, and it's just the, the five principles of being, you know, a, a Moorish American or Moors, our divine creed. Um, <clears throat> so I use those for an example, but, you know, on a deeper level, though, um, actually, no, I'm going to leave it right there. I'm not even going to get too much into it, because yeah, it's 1130, and I got to get some sleep. Uh... I wanted to close up with something. I think I got I got I got a little sidetracked on this one, so excuse me if I just got got to rambling. Um, what is being the more? Oh, that's what I wanted to say. That was it. So in this conversation, so I'm you know I'm trying to break, doing the best I can to break it down to them, but you know their minds are well. First of all. With me in general, with my with my group of friends, my brothers, I'm normally the one that stands out there on their own, 
saying, well, actually, no, let me not say that. We all do it in certain areas. You know, one of my brothers did it with health. One of my brothers did it with um, business and working for ourselves. Um, you know, one of them does it sometime with music. We do, we all do it. But for me personally, I do it a lot with like politics and mores and nationality and you know a lot of the more conspiracy type stuff um, man I just lost track of what I was saying that means I'm, I'm really tired but I'm gonna I'm keep this one going because we keeping it real um, being a more all right yeah yeah and so we're talking, and I and I understand that I'm standing out there, and it's different, and uh, and you know my people, they they are kind of um, that's what I was saying. My people are uh, a bit hesitant. They don't really like to admit that I know what the f I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and this has gone on like since we was little. I'm talking about from when we first had the Xbox, we switched from PlayStation to Xbox. Let me tell this story because it, it kind of helps you understand. You know, we was on PlayStation Heavy and N64, and uh, Xbox was coming out. And I was like, yo, we got to get the Xbox and Halo, and we get this package deal for $300. And you get that, or maybe it's 500 whatever the case. Uh, they're laughing at me, all my peoples. Yo, the Xbox is weak. The controller's too big. They ain't got no game. I'm talking, I heard it all, man. And maybe a year and a half later, man, Xbox is to you, yeah, man. Xbox, all right. You know what I mean? Same thing with Kendrick. I I open I open for him. Um, this is back in 2011, and I bring this up again just because it goes to me being able to see something and recognize a pattern or something that's going on, and them kind of being late to the party. And I'm gonna bring it all around. Uh, so the Kendrick show, um, I'm telling them like, yo, come, I would like for y'all to be there for my show or whatever, but really come for this cat that's rapping because he's going to blow up. They come to the show, you know, after my set, yo, Cliff, da 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 much love, blah, 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 but we out. I'm like, nah, y'all need to stay for this Kendrick show. It's going to be amazing. We want for the third. Man, get out of here, man. That dude, he all right. You know what I mean? We saw you. You was the best that night. We want for the third. Fast forward a couple years later, we in Miami riding around the Kendrick's, uh, the single he had with Dr. Dre. I forget it right now, but it was go it was going on um, with his first album. And it was just another situation where I was like, see? You know what I'm saying? And so with the Moorish situation, it's like, man, I know, you know, and you, Morris, Morris who are watching this, they know what it is. We know it's like, this is inevitable. This just, it's no way around us, you know, dealing with this. And once you get to the facts, it's irrefutable. Um, so, with, but with this, I'm really focusing on being humble and it's not about necessarily just me being right but really about uplifting humanity and, and helping my people out but you know with this man like my brothers man they real dug in on it on this black stuff man and you know one of my brothers man he said um, he said I would rather be because then we got around to talking about happiness and they were saying that they don't feel that I'm happy as a Moor. And I was explaining to them that it's not me being a Moor that makes me unhappy. It's me realizing the condition of our people in North America, but really all people, you know, especially poor people and oppressed people around the world. Um, that doesn't make me happy. You know, all of the wars that are going on in Yemen. Um, Somalia, Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq, Iran, um, man, Libya, you know, uh, I, it's plenty of more places. Those are just the ones that always come to my mind. Palestine, um, that doesn't make me happy, you know, uh, man, it's a lot of stuff in this world is going on that I'm not okay with, and I don't. 
I don't feel like I'm supposed to be or we are supposed to be just kind of walking around just all happy-go-lucky and enjoying life and trying to make the best of it despite what's like trying to make the best of it without actually fixing what's wrong you know that is what I have a problem with it's like I don't have a problem trying uh, you know keeping a positive attitude and all of that but it's the it's the it's this idea of yeah well we know what's going on and we know our tax dollars are funding the bombs that are being dropped on people and drones and blah 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 but let's go out to the party. Let's go listen to some, you know, some music and let's just forget about things. Let's go watch some sports. Let's go to the bar. Let's go. No. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of the same old, same old. I'm not, I'm not happy with the conditions of this world. You know, I ain't even talk about the health situation. I'm talking about the food and GMOs and Fukushima and oil spills and you know, the tar, the, the oil pipelines or whatever that's coming through the country. Um, so as many things that I have on my mind, and that's not even, I'm talking about, that's all dealing with the world. I'm not even talking about what's wrong, going on in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, so for me, no, I'm not just in this happy mood like I used to be. You know what I mean? Like when, before I was aware of all of this stuff, you know, I was... I always had a positive spirit about me, but I was always in a pretty good mood, you know what I mean, all things considered, but I'm just not like that anymore, you know what I mean, and that's the cost of knowledge, you know, ignorance is not bliss, you know, it's just easier than knowing, that's all, but it ain't bliss, because once you know, you know, that time you thought was bliss, it, you realize, man, how much time I wasted, you know, and it, at least for me, that's this is what goes on in my head. And now I know I'm way off track, but I just felt like I had to express that to get to the point that I'm saying um, that my brother expressed to me that he would rather be a happy black man than a depressed more. And that shit hit me, man, because it's like that statement to me is like it's like almost exactly like saying. Man, I'd rather be happy on this plantation than be stressed and trying to be free. That's really how it came off. You know what I'm saying? And it was, and it was sad because of the, men, the mentality seemed to be so concrete. You know what I mean? And it's, whew, you know, just makes me think about Harriet Tubman. You know, freed a thousand slaves. Um. Uh, but, you know, I express that to you to say that if you're going through that or if you have family that you're trying to reach, you know, be, and this is another thing is that I always hear all the time, yo, man, some people you just can't help, you know, you just got to let them be and let them get what they're going to get, you know, and be happy, let them live their life with their decision. And, uh. I get it, man. I just, that's been something that's real difficult for me to just do. I don't, um, it's not easy. But I'm working on that myself because I, I know that I can't control anyone. I can't force anyone to understand what I understand. I can't force anyone to read the information. Um, but on the flip side, I can't turn off my heart. You know, I can't unlove my people. You know what I mean? I can't unlove those, my brother Austin and Jordan and my family. You know what I'm saying? They knew me long before Rami and all of this. And uh, it's um, it's difficult. You know, it's difficult hearing something like that from your family and knowing, especially for me, because I see, you know, I I feel like I feel I've been given the gift of foresight in certain in certain respects and sometimes I'm able to see how things are going to play out a little bit earlier than other people and I you know I see what's I see what's coming for us as black people and I see what's coming for us as Moorish Americans 
and I don't want to I don't want those roads to split and I'm I'm in the Moorish American road having to watch my people go down this black road you know what I'm saying it's um, it's, that's not that's not something I'm comfortable with and um, I don't know <laughs> I, I really didn't have I didn't have any wise point <laughs> so much to make I just wanted to express um, something that I'm going through um, some I feel like a lot of us you know more people that realize we're more is that we go through trying to help our family um, and them being so hard-headed and stiff-necked that they just don't want to listen um, yeah just sharing you know what I mean and stay positive you know what I mean um, if you're going through this know you ain't alone and uh, yeah I don't want to say give up on him, you know, and I'm not, mm, yeah, I'm not saying I give up on him. I do respect their mentality and understand I can't force them to take off the chains. None but ourselves can free our, wise man once said that. And I'm going to end it, it's 11.45, been up for almost 24 uh finna get up in three so I can upload this video. Um Yeah. Thank you for watching. Um matter of fact, let's 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 see. I'm gonna close out with some spiritual. I'm gonna close out with something. Just gonna open him up. Just to come on. Man, I wish I had a few of them. I read all of them. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> Allah chooses messengers from angels and from men. For Allah is he who hears and sees all things. He knows what is before them and what is behind them. And to Allah go back all affairs for decision. O ye who believe, bow down, prostrate yourselves, and adore your Lord, and do good, that ye may prosper, and strive in his cause, as ye ought to strive, with sincerity and under discipline. He has chosen you, and has imposed no difficulties on you in religion. It is the religion of your father Abraham. It is he who it it is he who has named you Muslims, both before and in this revelation, that the messenger may be a witness for you, and ye be a witness for mankind. So establish regular prayer. Give zakat, Z-A-K-A-T, zakat, and hold fast to Allah. He is your protector. The best to protect and the best to help. Islam. I'm going to leave it on that note. And matter of fact, I'll close with the prayer. Uh, five on the left, two on the right. Allah, the Father of the universe, the Father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is our protector, our guide, and our salvation. By night and by day, through our holy prophet, noble, true, Ali. Love you. I love you. I love you. Peace.